Hi, I'm Jane Sheehan. I'm the UK's leading foot reader. I read emotions and personality through the feet. I started in 1999 wow. when I had a reflexology treatment with my friend Claudine. I didn't know what it was, I thought it was a beauty treatment. And um, they were telling her about her health and I was thinking, that's just mad, how do you know that? And when it was my turn, I had a huge emotional reaction to it. Every time they touched my big toe, I had tears streaming down my face and it repeated on the other foot. So I had to know more. So I went to study reflexology at the Chilton School of Reflexology. And it wasn't enough because all my case studies were getting huge emotional reactions. So I kept looking for the connection between the feet and the emotions. So I came across Louise Hay's work where she talked about the mind-body connection. I came across Imri Shamagi and he'd interviewed 5,000 people about toe shapes and personality. He came up with a toe alphabet. I memorised it and I'd use it on anyone and everyone who would let me. And it got way out of hand. Like um, Helena said to me, oh, we're doing a fundraiser for the playgroup. Um, will you help? So I rock up in my scruffs thinking I'm serving tea and coffee and moving tables and she said no no that's your stand over there and I said what stand? She said you're doing foot reading and I thought really you know and we didn't know how much to charge you know we had a queue of people going right out the door we had no booking system to limit numbers and it was really trial by fire and you learn a lot through experience like you learn not to go Depression, brilliant! <laughs> you know, you, you know the theory that um, a dark toe pad can mean depression, but when you see it for the first time in the flesh, you've got to make your face appropriate for the situation. And of course, being enthusiastic at that time, it was a bit of a learning curve for me. But it was such a, a fascinating experience because up until then, I was just doing family and friends. They were, these were complete strangers. So a totally different experience um, and word got out then so I kept getting invited to all sorts of events and I gave a talk for a fundraiser and the, a few people asking me where they could learn it so I started teaching it. So I've learned if anyone asks you um, if you'll do something say yes and then figure out how you're going to do it. <laughs> I'm regularly on TV so I've met quite a few people actually in the TV sh studios like Melanie Sykes, uh, Alan Carr chatty man, he painted his toenails bright orange so I said normally I read nail varnish colour but on a bloke I think it means something totally different. <laughs> um, who else? Uh, um, oh um, Linda Lusardi and Sam Keane. Um, Shirley from Pepsi and Shirley, you know, I went round to their house, so I met her husband, Martin Kemp, but he didn't have his feet red. Uh, Martina Navratilova, Chrissy Evitt, um, lots, yeah, lots of people, but a lot in the studios, some at private parties, you can't really talk about the private party ones. I've always fancied reading Mike Skinner from the police, uh, from the streets, um, because he created a whole persona with, with his album and I don't think that's his personality at all so I'd like to see what his personality really is. Um, I'd like to read Steve Middleton, so Johnny Vegas, um, because I know people he knows, you know, he, he used to go to school in St Helens at the Gamble Institute and a lot of my friends did so we've got people in common but I've never met him. Um, I had to read some actresses for the Golden Globe Award once, and just from photographs, but they said, if they win, which one do you think will win? And I, th I didn't know, of course I'm not psychic, so I said, I think um, Reese Witherspoon, because the personality showing through her feet was so lovely, I thought, I'd like her to win just through her personality, you know, and she did win. And they said, how do you think she'll be on the night? And her second toes are tilted towards the big toe. So that means emotionally looking back and seeing how far she'd come. And that's what I said, and she did. 